Today we're driving the 2023 Toyota Tundra TRD Pro. I've spent all week in this truck. Let's talk about what it's been like to live with. We'll walk you around it and then we'll take it for a drive. So the TRD Pro, this has the iForce Max powertrain, the same as what we've driven in the Tundra capstone previously. It's a pretty awesome engine transmission combo. Of course, it's a hybrid. There's an electric motor sandwiched between the engine and the transmission. It comes with a 3.4 liter twin turbo V6, and that's mated to a 10 speed automatic. This TRD Pro comes with a number of upgrades. We get this TRD light bar up front, lots of skid plating and protection, a big beefy red TRD sway bar, and Fox shocks with an internal bypass. We also get these awesome forged BBS wheels wrapped in 285-65 R18 Vulcan Wild Peak AT3W tires. A nice, solid, proven all-terrain. Pretty quiet on the highway, very good on the trail. This comes with optional running boards. I probably wouldn't spec my TRD Pro Tundra with those, but you can do without them as well. Love this color too. On the Monroni, it just says Terra. This can tow upwards of 10,000 pounds. I spent some time towing with it this week. I was towing a side-by-side. -side. Wasn't a huge load, about 4,000 pounds, all said and done, but this thing just towed it like it wasn't even there. It was pretty amazing. Tons of power here, tons of torque. AC, 120 volt, 400 watt bed inverter here. Oh, and I like when you do have the bed down. It says Tundra right there. <laughs> Only a five and a half foot bed here, but it gets the job done. We also have the optional bed step. Makes getting up in here a little bit easier. And TRD exhaust, which when the engine comes on, we'll hear what that sounds like. Let's give it a couple revs here. Pretty cool looking truck in my opinion. It drives great, it's huge, it's massive on the road. Suspension is a little bit softer than some of the other versions, but that really only comes into play when you're hitting big bumps and kind of on the trail. On the street, it's still a little bit firm, a little bit stiff. It softened up quite a bit when we were towing our trailer and side by side this week. So if we're towing, it actually does pretty well. Not as soft as something like a Raptor or a TRX. It's a nice balance, nice middle ground. We've done a few Tundra videos in the past, so we won't go over everything, but we'll just give you a little overview of the back seat here. Plenty of room, even some space underneath to store things. Got grab handles to get up in here on all four corners, that's nice. A little bit dirty from our adventures this week. We get a JBL sound system that sounds really good. Tons of bass, really powerful sound. Pretty clear too for a JBL. There's your cup holders. Rear window also slides down. That's fun. There you go. And I really like Toyota's new truck interiors. This is just fantastic. Infotainment is simple. Physical controls and buttons everywhere. Everything is laid out logically. It's about where you expect it. Ergonomics in here are great. I mean, the only complaints that I have, some rattling and noise from the center console area, but even this is really creatively designed. We'll hop up front here and show you that in a minute. Let's pop the hood real quick and show you this iForce Max. Oh, and why not TRD light bar too? that TRD light bar, super bright at night. And your iForce Max, 18 miles to the gallon in the city, 20 on the highway. This week I've been averaging around 15, 16 in the city, and when towing we were at 12 MPG according to the readout. Really torquey, 
I've always kind of compared this to the torque of a diesel, but the power of a V8. It's the best of both worlds. Over to the left here, we've got lots of controls. Pop your fuel filler cap, auto high beams, turn on your TRD light bar, heated steering wheel, gauge cluster illumination, trip reset, and you can turn off your rear park assist, which is great because when you're towing and you're backing up, it's always slamming on the brakes. Lots of cameras, high res, and with this massive 14 inch screen, you can see them all very easily. You get lines for your trailer hitch, your parking, a 360 cam, and you've got quick access views too for your forward facing cam, etc. Climate control, all physical buttons right here, heated and ventilated seats, two speed transfer case, two high, four high, four low. We also have an electronically locking rear differential, which you can hit right there. A few different drive modes, sport, normal, eco. And then you also go into tow haul mode, multi terrain select as well as crawl control, which is a really nice feature off-road. And the crawl control on these newest generation of TRD Pro products or TRD products is just incredible. It's super silent, it works seamlessly. It's great. Go check out the Sequoia TRD Pro off-road drive at Holly Oaks Off-Road Park, and uh, you guys can get an idea of what that's like. I'll show you the center console here. Two USB ports right here. Place to put some change, it looks like. There's a little bit of rubber lining here at the bottom. That's nice. But again, just a, a bit rattly this week. Depends where you have everything stored. Cup holders, water bottle holders. Maybe I've modified this wireless charger just a little bit. My phone seems to have been staying on here a little bit better this week than in the past. That was one complaint I had with the previous Tundras that we've driven, is that my phone was always falling off the charge unit. Good size glove box in there. No other storage for the passenger. Big panoramic sunroof, TRD stitched into the seats. I mean, just a, a really nice looking and feeling truck for about $75,000 as tested. This is a really great place to be. Comfortable, really nice to spend time in. It just eats up the highway miles. Let's go for a drive and give you guys an idea of what it's like behind the wheel. This V6 just kicks on seamlessly and silently from a start. really deep throaty growl to it too. Fun turbo noises too. This is a boosty boy, that's for sure. Also get a digital rear view mirror, which is super useful. A bit of howl from these AT3Ws, but overall a really nice tire to live with for most of your driving. Very few compromises with this. It's quick. Sport mode, you get a little bit of extra piped in engine sound. It can be a little bit loud sometimes, especially when you're trying to talk on the phone. It just fills up the cabin with sound. Properly quick truck. You're never gonna be wanting for power in this. Even this week, towing about 4,000 pounds behind us, merging onto the highway, gaps in traffic, they were no issue. Got a bumpy section of road here, taking it all in stride. I actually do like this TRD suspension quite a bit. 
just takes the edge off of everything on the street and off-road it really starts to shine when you hit some big bumps rock crawl situations higher speed stuff it's not as smooth and supple as like raptor suspension or t-rex suspension but at the same time it really does a nice job it's a nice balance between on-road handling capability and off-road performance This still feels like a massive truck, and it is. It handles like one. But the on-road refinement here is quite nice. And at speed, it's pretty quiet too. Puts its power down well. haven't had any traction issues in this this week and too high even in the wet let's do a little zero to 60 here put us into sport mode a little bit of a delay off the line sometimes if the engine turns off at a stop but otherwise throttle response engine calibration gearbox tuning this 10 speed is really quite good there's so much torque here that it can just hold a higher gear and pull you out of a lot of different situations from highway passing to just merging out without really getting too high up in the revs Brake pedal feels nice and natural, no complaints there. For this being a hybrid with regenerative braking, it feels really good. Put us in eco mode for a little bit. You can roll forward with the engine off slightly, accelerate just a little bit, maybe to five, 10 miles an hour sometimes if you're very easy on the throttle. When you're pulling this in and out of your garage, you can sometimes do it with the engine off, which is kind of nice. If you're cruising at speed, you let off the throttle, revs will dip to zero, that rev counter will just vanish, oil pressure will drop to zero, and you'll just coast with the engine off. That'll save some fuel. Everything kicks back on almost immediately. You've got two gauges down here, your I-Force gauge and your max gauge. I-Force is turbo boost pressure, max is how much energy that battery is putting back into the electric motor. It handles like a truck, no surprises there. We've spent a lot of time in Tundras before, and this is kind of the first one that I've really started to enjoy living with. I think this just makes sense. For the money, yeah, it's a little bit more expensive than some of the competition, but you've got to think, Toyota's probably done their due diligence here with long-term reliability. The battery pack under those rear seats isn't huge, so it's not gonna be that costly to replace long-term, and it's just a really refined, nice, comfortable truck. We'll get it out here on the highway in a second and do our little loop. Adaptive cruise control. The buttons are really easy to operate. I like the differentiation between enabling the system and the cancel button right here. It's just a nice indent. Change your speed quickly. Enable steering assist. Turn that off and on very quickly and easily. And your following distance, one of three settings right here. The closest setting actually follows pretty closely which is kind of a surprise. Usually Toyota is a bit more conservative with that. Lots of storage. Good place to put things here in the cabin. We do have a Tash Cam with this Tundra TRD Pro today. I hit a uh, 
a speed bump kind of at speed to test out the suspension and <laughs> it beeped and the action light started to flash sensing that I had hit something exciting. Probably an option I'd do without, but that's okay. All right, let's go into, let's go into sport mode and maybe tow haul. That'll hold our revs up a little bit higher. I didn't really even need tow haul this week. I just left it in normal mode and it seemed to do a really nice job just towing our 4,000 pound trailer and side by side with minimal effort at low revs. It was pretty impressive. Steering is pretty low effort. All of your control weights have a nice consistency in this Tundra. I like that the only gloss black we get is down here by the shifter. Everything else is matte. Materials feel nice. Some good armrest padding right here. The textures look good. They'll age really well too, like all Toyota interiors do. The gauges are simple, easy to read, not overly complicated. And I love this infotainment. CarPlay, Android Auto, connect wirelessly massive screen you can see your cameras very easily your maps very easily it all just works there's a few more settings you can go into here in your gauge cluster but for the most part everything that you need to access on a regular basis is a physical control cool looking steering wheel too with the TRD badging at the bottom and the red line at the top center Honestly, I'm not noticing a huge difference between drive modes here in this. I'm sure it affects shift programming, engine sound, some engine calibration, but ultimately, normal sport eco all about feel about the same. Right, guys that's gonna be a wrap on my thoughts in the new 2023 toyota tundra trd pro probably my favorite version of the tundra it kind of fits my lifestyle my ethos the best out of the lineup but again you kind of can't go wrong with any of these trucks these days they're all very very good even from other brands it's all kind of down to brand preference toyota though if you're looking for a long-term prospect can't go wrong with this truck it's just it's just huge it's just big but if you need something to tow need something to haul you want to be able to go off road maybe act as a bit of a recovery vehicle if you get stuck in your toys this will get you there and get you back out cool looking seats too i love this camo pattern underneath though i could see that getting pretty dirty with time and some dirt the center console i just wish they'd fix the rattles tighten it up a little bit yeah big honking red trd start stop button there too great to see toyota sticking with physical controls in their newest vehicles i mean this is this is what people want All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. I love that they give us a grab handle.